So at my computer store, these people came by wanting to sell me cologne one day. They use the usual sales tactic where they try to get you to say yes a couple of times because it's supposed to prime you to say yes to their sale. But they weren't expecting to run into me. So I have this strange cologne called a shower, soap, and deodorant. I know, crazy thought, right? Anyway, these people show up and they're all bubbly and happy. Hey, how you doing? Great. Oh, wonderful day. Blah, 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 blah. And they're just so perky, you know, and they're youthful women. The whole thing is set up so that, oh, yeah, I'd love to give you money because even though you're not going to have anything to do with me after this, yeah, you're trying to sell me something and you're a good looking person and you're happy. So, of course, I'm going to want to give you my money. Well, um, yeah, they come in and they go, Hi, do you like to smell good? Now, you're supposed to say yes to this. Who doesn't like to smell good? I know the sales tactic, though. I know how it works, and I am every high-pressure salesperson's worst nightmare. So, my response to her saying, do you like to smell good, was, no. And you could just see the look on this woman's face go from, to this. Oh shit, this guy, he didn't say yes to the first question. What do I do? And then... She doesn't know what to say. So she just sort of blurts out from her neck. So you, you don't like to smell good? And, you know, if you're going to go in, you might as well go in all the way. So I say, nah, actually, I like smelling kind of stinky. Makes me feel good. And this woman's face goes from to... And she just stammers. Okay, have a, have a nice day. Picks up her little sales booklet, turns around, walks out my door. And everybody in the store starts laughing their asses off. Now, I wasn't rude to the woman in any way, but I wasn't going to be sold anything. And I feel like I've actually done a public service because I didn't waste her time. She didn't waste my time, at least not enough of it to really matter. We cut it off because I wasn't going to buy anything anyway. And I didn't spend 10 minutes explaining to this lady that I don't want to buy whatever overpriced stink water she's selling me. But it was really friggin' funny and I can't complain about that. So it was totally worth it. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my stupid story. Have a good one.